Misericordia University was founded in 1924 by the Sisters of Mercy as Luzerne County's first four-year institution of higher learning. Starting as College Misericordia, we were an all-women's college until the 1970s when it transitioned into co-ed. We have three colleges within the university, including the College of Arts and Science, the College of Business, and the College of Health Sciences and Education, and have approximately 2,000 undergraduate students. Mercy Hall was the first building established on campus. It currently houses both academic spaces, administrative offices, and the chapel. There are classrooms, computer labs, and faculty offices for many of the professors who teach in the College of Arts and Science. You can also find the Office of Admissions and Student Financial Services on the main floor. The bottom floor houses the safety department. Their goal is to provide and maintain a safe and secure environment for all members of the campus community and visitors. They do so with full-time professional presence on campus, efficient response to calls or service, security of all persons and buildings, and effective management of vehicles and external areas. They're the first responders to safety issues and can be easily called through the MyMU app or just by using their extension. The safety office is also where students can go for lost and found as well as vehicle registration for parking permits. The IT student help desk is also on the bottom floor. Open seven days a week, they provide computer support to all resident and commuter students for any devices and computers, including PCs and Macs. In addition to fixing computer issues, they can also help with email setup, gaming consoles, cable TV, and student ID cards. Misericordia Chapel. As a Catholic-affiliated university, Mass is available to students every Sunday at 7 p.m. and for church holidays. While Mass is not a requirement, all students must take two religious study courses over the duration of their undergraduate program. One course will have to be in world religions and the other is up to the student. This is done to promote religious awareness and tolerance in all of our students. The Bevavino Library is a dedicated study space on campus. The library includes a vast collection of books, DVDs, CDs, laptops, and iPads for borrowing, as well as a number of study rooms equipped with whiteboard walls and touchscreen capabilities for studying. One of the best parts of the library is its staff. They can help you with research, citing, and paper formatting. Finally, they host a number of events throughout the year, including Take a Break During Finals Week, National Library Week Celebration, guest speakers, and an active MU Library Club. The library is open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 12 a.m., Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. Inside Anderson Sports and Health Center, there are many ways to stay active, including the Student Fitness Center, basketball court, racquetball court, aerobics room, and pool. The building also houses coaches' offices and the health center. During the school year, the gym space is available to all students seven days a week, although certain facilities are reserved during practice times. On top of being a good training space, the aerobics room is used by our dance team and club. It also holds community exercise classes, including yoga. The health center is located on the lower level and open to students Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Anytime a student needs medical attention outside those hours, there is a walk-in clinic 2.5 miles away in Shavertown, and campus safety is available for transportation. Welcome to McHale Hall. This residence hall is one of the first year housing options, along with Alumni Hall and McGowan Hall. Placement in residence halls is based on a student's deposit date. This building is separated by wing, one side for women with a female RA and one side for men with a male RA. That means there are two RAs assigned to each floor. Additionally, the bottom floor houses the resident director's office for the building. Residence life staff is available 24 seven with the main office located in banks and RAs and RDs on call each night and over the weekends. Another fun feature in McHale Hall is the fireside lounge. You will often find students hanging out, studying, or hosting events such as the Fall Luau and Super Bowl parties. A traditional first year room is shared between two students and includes the basics like heat, Wi-Fi, and cable, as well as a sink and a micro fridge provided by the university. Your bed, desk, and wardrobe are all movable. Beds can also be bunked to allow for more floor space communal bathrooms with restrooms and showers are located at the end of the hall along with the laundry room. Laundry is free. Welcome to the Bank Student Life Center. Let's talk food. 
We have our Cougar's Den, which is both a Chick-fil-A Express, open Monday through Saturday, and Chopping Block, which is a salad and wrap eatery, open seven days a week, as dining options. Students can use cash, credit, and their Cougar Points in the Cougar's Den. A Cougar Point is equivalent to $1. We also have the Mets Cafeteria, which is the main dining option. It is open Monday through Friday, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as Saturdays and Sundays for brunch and dinner. Students can eat in the cafeteria using their meal swipes. For first year students, there are two meal plan options. The unlimited option allows for students to come in as many times as they want as long as the dining hall is open, while the 190 total meals option covers roughly 14 meals per week. Both options also include 200 Cougar points to use at the den and other cafes on campus. The different stations in the cafeteria include a grill, two entree options, a deli, a brick oven pizza station, soups, salads, and desserts. It is set up buffet style so students can have as much as they want with each meal swipe. The chef takes special care with all health concerns and allergies. All food is labeled, breaking down what is vegetarian or vegan friendly, as well as what contains gluten or dairy. Should a student need any additional food accommodations, they can speak directly with the chef about options. Banks also has several student life opportunities. First is campus ministry, where students can have the ability to get involved with ministries on campus, as well as service trips locally and abroad. Involvement with this office is not determined based on any religious affiliation. Next is the Student Engagement Office. This office organizes and manages all clubs and activities on campus, including student government, SOAR, and orientation. It will organize weekend activities such as comedians, mentalists, and game shows. Some of the most popular events this office puts on is Cougar Fest, which is the spring festival on the Banks lawn, and semester Broadway trip. Each semester, the office will choose a Broadway show and get a bus to the city, all for $30 per student. Then we also have the post office, which is an official USPS location. All resident students will have a mailbox to send and receive mail. Next to that is the Residence Life Office and the Multicultural Office. Located in Banks, we also have our campus bookstore. Our store sells university apparel, textbooks to buy or rent, school supplies, electronics, and much more. Then we have the Proudly Brewed by Starbucks, which serves all kinds of coffee, tea, gourmet coffee, and light fare that will be open seven days a week during the school year. This area also houses our radio station and newsroom that any student can get involved in, regardless of major. Students can contribute to our award-winning bi-weekly newspaper, The Highlander, or start a talk show on the radio. The Student Success Center, known as the SSC, located on the lower level of Alumni Hall, provides academic and personal support services. Students develop skills here to master their studies. Some available services are our peer tutoring program in Math Lab. The Writing Center is also located in the SSC and is available for students that need help with any stage of their academic papers from brainstorming to the final edit. The lower level of McGowan is home to CAPS, our Counseling and Psychological Service Center. CAPS provides students with confidential services such as individual counseling, group counseling, consultation sessions, referral services, and various workshops. The service center is open from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday with weekend appointments available upon request. In Sulaco Hall is mainly dedicated to the College of Business with its bottom floor housing the offices of our business faculty members. Also on this floor are classrooms, a music ensemble room, and a computer lab. The main level holds more classrooms as well as spaces for the community to gather. Alongside the art depicting the charisms of the Sisters of Mercy, there is a lounge with great views of campus for students to sit and study or hang out in between classes. They can grab a Starbucks coffee or a light lunch from the Intermezzo Cafe or even stop in the Polly Friedman Art Gallery to check out the newest art exhibit. One of the best parts of Walsh Hall is Le Mans Theatre. It is a site for many university guest speakers, as well as performances and productions organized by the Misericordia Players Theater Group. It also hosts student activities, annual homecoming talent show. The second and third floors of this building hold offices for the College of Professional Studies, as well as our social science faculty. For those interested in mass communications and design or diagnostic medical sonography, the bottom floor of Walsh Hall is home to Diagnostic Medical Sonography Lab and MCAD's design labs and TV studio. The university's television studio includes a television control room and studio equipment that are all digital. 
for field production, students can work with cameras that use the latest technology and use professional grade portable lighting kits and sound equipment. The post-production facilities include two non-linear editing suites where students use Mac-based editing systems. In Salako Center for Career Development. This office acts as a comprehensive career center that assists students and alumni of Missouri Court University in developing, assessing, and implementing goals for the professional world. This is mainly accomplished through the university's Guaranteed Placement Program, also known as GPP. The program is designed to prepare students looking to enter the workforce or graduate school after graduation and is facilitated through workshops and individual appointments. GPP is structured de developmentally for all class levels which each year are building on the next. Students fulfill basic career development requirements in their freshman and sophomore years. Junior year they get a glimpse of financial fitness and how to search for a job. In their final semesters, program requirements increase as students begin to focus on skills appropriate to the job search and job interviewing, such as resume and cover letter refinement, interview skills and completing a half hour mock interview with a real employer, learning professional etiquette, attending a job fair, and of course, conducting an effective job search. Our guarantee states that if any student who fully participates in our program for all four years of their college experience, does not receive a job offer or is not accepted to graduate or professional school within six months of graduation, the university provides that student a paid internship in their chosen field. Misericordia University offers you the opportunity to study abroad or away for a semester, a summer session during a break or on a faculty-led program. Your choice of duration might be a function of a variety of factors. You will need to consider your major, what courses you need and when you can do them abroad, and what sort of personal and or family needs you have relative to being away. Depending on which session is chosen, a student can be abroad in Australia, Canada, England, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Poland, Spain, Wales, Jamaica, or Tanzania. The new Henry Science Center has 77,000 square feet of teaching and research space. It is designed to put science on display and increase collaboration with its unique views and open design. The Science Center has 14 teaching labs, 12 specialized research labs, eight lecture halls, and many casual learning spaces. The Commons houses two large lecture halls. Each can accommodate 50 students. These rooms can be combined using its retractable wall. In addition, the rooms can be opened up to the Commons for larger public events. The building also has its five small group rooms to support student collaborative learning and much more. Some of the special labs and spaces include a state-of-the-art cadaver lab suite, which has locker rooms, an anatomage table, prep area, and an electronically enhanced lab area. There's a mammal vivarium with three holding areas and surgical procedure spaces. There's an invertebrate and aquarium room capable of supporting more than 24 aquariums and there's a tissue culture suite supported with a cold room and protein analysis lab space. The campus community is very proud of the new building, which supports one of our critical concerns as a Sisters of Mercy institution, environmental sustainability. It is very green environmentally with at least a silver LEED rating. Misericordia University has always had a strong connection to college athletics. We currently have 25 Division III men's and women's sports teams, including our most recent additions of men's volleyball and AE sports. Our athletes have access to two training rooms with three full-time trainers available to them in Metz Field House and Anderson Sports Complex. Also located in Metz Field House are locker rooms, equipment staff, meeting rooms, and our athletes-only gym. This gym is a shared space where all athletes are able to conduct team workouts or they can go in smaller groups during open hours. Athletic facilities also include Tambor Baseball Field, Mangelsdorf Football Field, McGeehan Field, Anderson Softball Field, and our tennis courts. If you are interested in playing a college sport, please fill out our recruitment questionnaire on our athletics website, and one of our coaches will be in contact with you soon. Welcome to Passon Hall. This building is home to many of our health science programs. The first floor is dedicated to our occupational therapy program. Classroom space is modifiable to facilitate both lecture-based and hands-on learning. Lab space for the OT program focuses on a range of disciplines from mastering functional anatomy to practicing techniques for home-based and hospital-based therapy, as well as splinting and orthotics. Our second floor houses not only classrooms and study spaces, 
but the free clinic where students in our speech language pathology program gain valuable experience. Individual therapy rooms are outfitted to accommodate a range of pathologies and clients of different ages. Each room is equipped with observational space as well as audio visual recording equipment for faculty and students to review therapy sessions for improvements. For training in anatomy, SLP students can use the floor's anatomage table as well. The nursing and physical therapy programs share the third floor. While PT students will spend their undergraduate careers working towards bachelor degrees on main campus, they're often invited to join in on PT labs as practice clients for our graduate students to learn new skills. These classes take place in modifiable classrooms that hold desks which convert to padded patient tables. Separate lab space is available to hone skills in different areas of the field. No student volunteers are needed for nursing. One of their simulation labs hosts a mock hospital floor with each bed outfitted with an animatronic patient for new practicing skills. A separate simulation lab is available for practicing with pediatric animatronic patients. These labs also have observation rooms and audio visual recording equipment to allow for students and faculty to review techniques as well as proper patient care.